Alrighty, so we are live on stream and we are going to be messing around with this new Deanne. Unfortunately, she does not have an AoE card and I have stooped the, to the lowest of my abilities and we are playing Chaos PvP for one and uh, I'm using the God Melee team. So if you don't know what the character does, she has a Pierce single target card. She has a shield that taunts for two turns at level one and then if you can get a level two, it will actually start depleting ultimate move gauge orbs when they attack into you, which is kind of cool. Uh, I don't really suspect we'll be able to get that off very easily. And if I had to guess, these matches that we're going to have are probably going to be pretty quick because Chaos PvP is either kill the big unit and then you win or whatever but uh we'll, we'll we'll try to throw some matches in here just wanted to use her because she's 500 score right now and if people pull her and use her tonight she could potentially go up in value uh and i just wanted to try her out in chaos pvp we'll probably use her in ungeared and geared a little bit later on this week uh so stay tuned for that if you want to um her passive is very interesting she applies symbol of love on the hero at the start of the battle and that symbol of love is increases allies basic stats by three percent for each ally that takes damage from an enemy skill limit of 10 times so that's up to 30 percent stats which is pretty crazy uh while assuming a stance the hero's hp related stats are increased by 20 percent when the hero's stance is removed allies crit defense is increased by 30 percent for two turns and then she also has a PvE passive. We'll probably use her in uh, Demon King sometime this week as well. Uh, I might even do that on stream as well. In addition, when the hero uses a skill in PvE, allies' attack-related stats are increased by 10% for two turns. So that's going to be really good for Demon King. So let's go ahead and use her here. Uh, like I said, she doesn't have an AoE, so I can't necessarily do like the triple AoE strat where you just rush for melee orbs and everything. But depending on the teams that we go up against, we might be able to pull something off. I don't know. This probably won't be like the greatest setup of all time or anything, but... Uh, just kind of want to, this is like a, an easy two birds, one stone where I can maybe grind a little bit of, uh, of chaos PVP and not get uh, super bad. So his AOEs here, ooh, I can actually do the ult rush thing too. So let's go for, let's do this and then maybe throw this away so that way we put some stacks on. I have been running just triple AoE teams if possible, so that way I can throw some stacks on and then try to put orbs on melee and everything, but um, if he attacks with Hendrickson, like he is, I should be able to get orbs pretty easily here, so that's going to give me three orbs. We've already AoE'd once. I unfortunately don't have a second AoE, so I can't get all three of my orbs this turn, but I can get one orb, uh, which could be kind of easy, so... Um, what is... Where's your Tarmiel link at? I assume it's on Esterosa, because like I said, <laughs> this game mode is very, um, get, get, or kill big enemy, win game, sort of, heavy. Like, that's kind of just the whole strat, so we're just going to throw these out, so that way we can get our last orb. This ranks up this card, and then we obliterate Esterosa. So that's game. Okay, so, uh, pretty cool. I mean... He didn't really get to do anything to my Deanne there, and I don't know, if he doesn't forfeit here, I kind of want to see some damage from the Deanne, but I've heard everybody on JP say that this Pierce card is very underwhelming, so I'm assuming that we're basically just going to be using her for the stance. So let's hop back in. I'll probably end up buying some extra tickets here, because <laughs> I, uh, I, like I said, these matches will probably be pretty quick. Alrighty, we have a Ghislaine a Unknown Team, which is kind of interesting. He has a Freeze. Uh, we actually don't have... We do not have a... Debuff immunity on this Dian, unfortunately. Which kind of stinks, but it is what it is. He'll probably just... Well, I guess he has a Stance Cancel with Ghislaine as well. So... Okay, we pull an extra AoE with uh, with Bon, which is really good. So we can use that in the melee AoE here. Stance cancels me. I like that it actually just like evaporates that little shield thing that she puts up. I think that's actually kind of cool. Weak point skill there. He does not put any debuffs on, unfortunately. Um, luckily, I don't think he has a whole lot of debuffs. Well, his... his uh, whatchamacallit? Um... Should I just shield again? I'm going to shield again here. I... If I can... I think this Gother has a debuff card. If he debuffs and freezes me... No, it doesn't matter because freeze gets rid of debuffs. 
So I would literally only have one debuff on and I would cleanse it with melee and get my uh, max orbs. What are these draws? I'm telling you, I <laughs> I lay in bed in the morning and I do my daily chaos PvP matches like while I still have tickets and everything. And I just sit there in agony because I get the worst RNG you've ever seen. And it just, it is terrible. It is the worst thing in the world. Uh, no debuffs still. That is very unfortunate. Um, I don't think that there's much I can do about that, actually. I doubt we can kill Ghislaine here, actually. <sighs> Her ultimate's so good. I maybe should have just double attacked with him. I See, this is another thing about Chaos PvP, is I get so nervous. Yeah, well, I don't think I was going to be able to kill there regardless. I think me keeping my orbs there was probably for the best. I think if I would have double attacked into an attack with melee, there was like no chance I was going to be able to tank this or anything. Freezes Bon. Okay, and then ults me. He probably kills me here if I'm being honest. Because even her ult at 1-6 is insane. Yeah, that's fair. Yeah, laugh it up. It's alright. Good game. That is Chaos PvP in a nutshell for you, though. If they don't debuff me, Melee does drop off pretty hard. Alright. Okay, we have another God Melee team. Dude, his CC is so high. He's literally using, like, old units, too, and he out-CCs me. That's insane. This guy has to have, like, really high box CC or something. I do get double AoE here, which is good. Unfortunately, though, I don't think any of his cards are going to debuff. So that kind of stinks. I could maybe taunt cuz he's going to he's going to get rid of his orbs here. But I think it's more worth it for me to get my orbs instead. Um he is attacking me which gives me stats and stuff, but I think it's just more worth it for me to get my stacks here. God, and he has he has uh he's disabled his his Deanne cuz he gets double attack with her, which actually I think I kill her, but it doesn't matter because his melee has a stack on as well. So he's going to... Wait, he only gets one orb there. Wait. Why did... Didn't he have three orbs? Just then? No, he single targeted my DN. Never mind. I'm stupid. If he would have AoE'd there, he would have had his thing. Which I guess he gets it right here. Yeah, he gets it right here. Okay, he's using it with his ult instead. Um Okay, bit of a bit of an odd play, I got to say, but hey, I mean, that's a win for us, I guess. All right, these teams really throw me off quite a bit. So um I'm going to do this. We're only going to put one attack on. We do have a stance, which is great. I'm re I've am i fought a couple of Assault Mode teams, and I'm really bad about just giving him too many stacks, and then he wrecks me. So, okay, fair enough. We did not play into that. He shouldn't be able to even kill my melee off because I had the Deanne stance on. That actually kind of worked out a little bit. Let me buy a couple more tickets for the video. This is going alarmingly fast. All right, we have a Reinhardt team. Reinhardt, surprisingly, can do some really good damage, which sucks. Ooh. But we get triple AoE here, which is great. The only unfortunate part is the, the stance on his Arthur. And he's probably not going to have a debuff for me, unfortunately. Would be great if I could get another melee AoE, but that is not happening. Uh... Okay, he's not quite pushing for his ultimate yet, which is good. He has evasion. Oh, I got all creation. Why did I get all creation there? He didn't debuff me, did he? Or does he have sorry gone or something? That's weird. I don't. Uh, I don't actually know why I cleansed there. I guess I'll just do this for the card merge. I should have used it beforehand, but. The, uh, the timer stressed me out. Dude, he's he's actually pretty tanky. That's going to shut down a lot of their HP support, which is great. Your bond's disabled. Oh, that's right. That's right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I forgot. I played into that. Um, okay. AoE from Melee's really good. 
double AoE from Melee is really good. He has debuff immunity. Uh, unfortunately, this doesn't have the... Whatchamacallit on it. The uh, ult gauge removal. That would be really, really good here. But he is attacking me, so I'm gaining um, basic stats. So that's really good. Out of curiosity, how many stacks do I have on? I have five stacks. Melly is at... I don't, I don't honestly, I don't even know why I looked. I have no idea if those are good stats or not. Um, God, I wish I had another AoE from Bond here, but I guess it is what it is. I'm going to end up disabling myself, I think, but it's fine. Or not. Um, ooh, really good damage there. I do get disabled, unfortunately. Or, no, Arthur had his link on? No way. So we kill the Bond, that's great. He... Okay, he merged, but he didn't get Reinhardt's ultimate. Reinhardt, in this game mode, can... If you have him 6-6 six, six still, God. He just obliterates you. It's so annoying. But yeah, without the rupture skill, Bond uh, Bond does fall a little short there. Heard you're giving, <laughs> giving free wins? Yeah, that I am. Alright, this is the same guy, if I'm not mistaken. I do not get extra AoE here either, so... Um... Uh, I guess we'll just attack Arthur. Why not? He'll be... He'll be able to get his stance cancelled. Yeah, that damage is not incre incredible. Which, then again, type disadvantage. Her damage is already kind of meh. King about to snipe. Probably. King is uh, King is the master sniper, unfortunately. Uh, I don't think he's going to be able to debuff me here, though. Which kind of stinks. Alright, giving me some Deanne stacks here, which is pretty good, though. The HP buff that he gets is uh, a bit unfortunate. I can disable my uh, my Bond here again, which is pretty good. So we can do this for stacks. It'll get rid of his Arthur stance. He's probably going to push for ultimate this next turn, so that will be a little bit of an issue. We'll see how it goes. I do still have my stance up. His only AoE are these two, and Bon is the only one that's actually going to do decent damage with it. So, I mean, he could still potentially kill Bon off. Because, I mean, type advantage, he's old. Okay, not too bad damage there. Attacks into the Deanne. Ooh, I think he kills my Deanne here. Yeah, he definitely kills Deanne here. That's unfortunate. I do lose my stats and everything, but this is going to... Yeah, pop that, so... Um, I actually don't know if it's better for me to try to go single target here or if an AoE would be good. I really want to AoE. If it was a level 3, I'd be a lot more confident. I think I just go for it. I'm going to go for it. I'm probably going to... I'm probably going to screw this up. Alright, decent damage there. They're uh, extorted. Ah, oh, if we could have killed the Bond there, that would have been so good. Oh, and of course he merges. He's going to kill my Bond very easily because of the rupture. That's a bit unfortunate. And depending on his Reinhard cards, he'll probably kill my Melee here if I had to guess. That kind of sucks. Okay, there's the HP buff. He's ulting, and then he's Reinhard attacking. Yeah, I think I'm dead here. That's fine, though. Honestly, like, I mean, surprisingly... The Bond, the Bond, like, old-school Bond team is uh, pretty viable. Okay. Doesn't kill me just yet. Not that it's going to matter too much. He has Im Im Immortality on, so that's great. ay 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 Not much I can do there. Green Skinny King, yeah. Just for, uh, just for the 500 in the back. He doesn't actually do much of anything. Alright, we get our ultimate, but... If I had to get... I would assume if you're using this team, you probably have a high-level Reinhard. He doesn't have costumes on him, though. Okay. Okay. No way. No way. I don't even think I had... Uh, I don't even think I had... Whatchamacallit? Um, my all-creation buff there. So I'm actually kind of surprised I won that. 
Because, I mean, I don't even know if I would have 100% killed with my ultimate. Like, his ultimate's good, don't get me wrong, but mine's only 1-6. So that... I'm really surprised by that. Alright. Oh, no. The Demon King teams are still in, still annoying. Uh, actually... Might be in a decent spot here. We got really good pull with the melee. This is going to kill these two off. I think we're in a good spot here. Yeah, because he's below damage cap now. Uh, he can probably lifesteal that back if I had to guess. We are going to pop true ma or, uh, all creation here. Uh... Okay, he's attacking the Bond. That's fair. This is actually going to merge this. Yeah, because he kills. He probably does. Yeah, he did way too much damage there. I don't know. I actually don't know if I can kill him here. He only has this unit. I don't know if it would be better to just try to go for the Yan stance or not. I think I'm going to try for the kill. Because that's going to do a lot because I have all creation. And then hopefully this will keep him below 50%. I think this is actually good. I think we're fine. Yeah, I think we're good. Because he actually doesn't have like a very large health pool. It's just the damage cap is annoying. Alright, that... <laughs> Chewy. He can't kill you? I don't know. He... <sighs> Sometimes he just does too much damage. If he gets, like, anywhere near a decent merge, he'll get a level 3, single target my melee, and then I'm screwed. I should have probably went for the, the stance play there and just waited with the uh, the level 3 melee card, but I kind of risked it a little bit there. All right, I th think this is the last of our current tickets. We might actually call it after this one. Okay, we get an extra pull for melee there. I, is this just an LR Margaret team? Uh, where's your... Do you... Okay, that's... Alright, understandable. Uh, we'll buy one more ticket, I guess. We'll buy one more. I have seven diamonds for new Deanne. Time to get her in singles. I don't recommend that. I would say to not do that. We'll buy one more ticket. Just because I don't want to... I don't want to... I don't know. I mean, I could technically buy three, but... We're not even really getting the greatest use out of Deanne here. Out of curiosity... 0.61, okay. Actually actually kind of chilling. We're actually doing pretty well. Alright. Another melee team. King. Ah, you're ridiculous. <laughs> you're ridiculous. I know. I know it's you too, because you're in kaiju. Uh oh boy. Well. Yep. There it is. The king snipe is real. Um, I need to keep your Deanne from having that debuff, so I gotta kill her off. If I can. Okay, actually not that bad. Type neutral. Okay. So now you don't get your... You don't get your buff this turn. You'll have to triple attack to get rid of Deanne. Unfortunately, you don't put any debuffs on either unless you extort, which you have double attack, I assume. Yeah, you do. Okay, doesn't kill my Bond, which is great. Um... I'm I might be a little overconfident here, but I think I can kill him with the AoE. I should have single targeted just to be safe, but Alright, alright, we're kinda chilling here. I don't have well actually you can remove the stance with whatever card you're gonna use here. I actually think I lucked out really hard against you right here. Even though you sniped me, I think I think I've got you. So this is going to cancel my DN stance. You're going to get some orbs here, unfortunately. But it didn't kill my... Didn't kill my boy. Fantastic. I got so lucky here, I think. Um, then again, I don't, maybe you tank this. We win those. We win those. 
Elkane. <laughs> That's so funny. I cannot believe you sniped me on the last game, too. That is ridiculous. You were playing it good, too. You played it right. I got really lucky with being able to kill your guys off before they could get their, their debuff removed. 0.58. Honestly, not bad. We had a really good session here. We did lose, what, like two games, I think? But I, I do like the Deanne so far. I mean, this is all, honestly just Chaos PvP, so this is a little bit of a skewed sort of outlook on her at the moment. But kind of cool so far. Kind of cool. We'll definitely try her out in geared and ungeared as well. But uh, for the people watching the YouTube video that's coming out after the stream, um, thank you guys so much for watching. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it. Feel free to stop by and, you know, hang out in the stream next time we uh, we summon for units and stuff whenever they come out on global you can come by and hang out we'll test them out and stuff and uh, yeah we'll probably go ahead and mess around with some croc shell and maybe a demon king run as well with the new deanne uh not sure on that one just yet but uh either way subscribe all that good stuff i will see you guys later